Hello and welcome to World Insight with me, Tian Wei. The program is coming to you Monday to Friday on CGTN. We begin in the Spanish capital, Madrid, where Chinese President Xi Jinping arrived for a three-day state visit. It's the first visit by the Chinese head of state to the country in 13 years. President Xi says he seeks to consolidate traditional friendships and strengthen bilateral cooperation. Before the discussion on Xi's trip, take a look. Spain. The first stop of President Xi Jinping's visit to Europe and Latin America. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez rolled out the red carpet for President Xi at La Moncloa Palace. Earlier, President Xi met King Felipe VI of Spain, while the mayor of Madrid, Manuela Carmena, gave President Xi the gold key to Spain's capital. The president then delivered the speech at the Spanish Senate. China-Spain relations are now facing new opportunities. China will always look at our ties with a long-term perspective. We hope the two countries can continue to support each other on issues of mutual concern. We also want to enhance communication in development and cooperate under the Belt and Road Initiative to improve our bilateral ties. This year marks the 45th anniversary of diplomatic relations between China and Spain, as well as the 13th anniversary of their comprehensive strategic partnership. Bilateral trade has increased in recent years. China is now Spain's largest trading partner outside the EU, while Spain is the sixth largest trading partner of China within the EU. In 2013, China launched the Belt and Road Initiative. Spain, located at the intersection of the Silk Road Economic Belt, and the 21st century maritime Silk Road has taken an active part in the BRI to promote pragmatic cooperation with China. During President Xi's visit to Spain, the two countries have published a joint statement and signed documents to step up collaboration in the third party markets, service trade, taxation, culture, science and technology, and finance. The Chinese president's nine day trip will also take him to Portugal, Panama, and Argentina. He will attend the G20 summit in the Argentinian capital, Buenos Aires. For more on Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to Spain, we are in our Beijing studio having Cui Hongjian, who is the director of the Department of European Studies at the China Institute of International Studies. Welcome. In Barcelona, we have Augusto Soto, the director of the Dialogue with China project at China Today. Welcome as well. Uh, Mr. Soto, you are in Madrid. Help me to understand what will this visit bring to the bilateral relations. After all, it is the first of its kind since 2005, heads of state from China to Spain. Mr. Soto? Yeah, yes. Um, we are extremely happy to participate in this uh, program. Um, I think I represent the view of uh, of the Spanish citizens and analysts and authorities, I would say that we are um, extremely happy for this visit of President Xi Jinping. Uh, his visit um, is really reinforcing our strategic partnership. Um, we are very curious to develop further what is being signed right now in Spain, all these agreements in a new era. We are facing lots of uncertainties right now in the international global scenario. And uh, I think we should be uh, more, uh, uh, get closer and closer, and uh, this is a, a very important day so I see. to mark a new, uh, we could not say new beginning, but the continuation of this friendship, very strong friendship. Well, see how strong it is. Adjectives easy to use, but when it comes to concrete content, uh, shall we read more carefully? China Spain enjoy long history of cooperation, that's for sure. 2005 has signed a comprehensive strategic partnership, and this relationship was sealed in November 2014 with the freight train line between the Chinese city Yiwu and the Spanish capital of Madrid opened that, that year. In 2017, bilateral trade volume reached 31 billion U.S. dollars as well. But, Mr. Tui, uh, of course, if you look at China-Spain trade, there is still a big uh, a deficit for Spain right now. Will this visit change the picture? 
Yes, as we know, I think it's also a very big yeah, concern I think so. from a, a, sp a Spanish side to uh, get some more, maybe a balance uh, of trade with China. But I think it could not be uh, uh, totally changed in a very short term. Because as we know, it's not only an issue of uh, uh, who uh, uh, import, export, how much. And I think, uh, indeed, it's an issue of uh, uh, structure. For example, so far, the most of the uh, uh, trade between uh, uh, for Spain is with some uh, European, uh, mem European Union member states. And also, of course, I think uh, still we can find out uh, maybe a uh, new uh, uh, space for uh, you know, promote the battle trade with China right. uh, well, between two countries. As well, we know last year, but I think now China did a lot to help this uh, uh, balance of uh, trade. For example, last year China uh, imported a, a lot, uh, much more, than it uh, uh, exported to, um, to Spain. So I think it, in long term, it could be get a, a better situation for I this see. Uh, trade issue. You see issue. China is trying to host the CIIE, the first ever import expo, the first of its kind in the world, one could argue. And meanwhile, Chinese President Xi Jinping going to Spain, Mr. Soto, that uh, the two sides are signing uh, documents regarding to cut off double taxation between the two countries and also to try to seek some cooperation in the field of agricultural products such as Han import into China, which is a big uh, issue for Spain. Uh, will these measures be able to help both sides to understand the sincerity of this relationship? Uh, Mr. Soto, very briefly. Uh, I, I think so. I'm, I'm convinced. I'm convinced these measures will really um, be uh, quite useful for um, diminishing that, that gap. I think very important now is to move forward to act in third markets. All right. When you talk about moving forward, there are a lot of issues that the two parts could work together. For example, uh, Mr. Choi, a Belt and Road Initiative, we understand that not yet any memorandum being signed, and yet Chinese companies have been working with major ports in Spain, for example, in Valencia, uh, Bilbao, and yes. also yes. in uh, Barcelona. Uh, these are major ports inside Spain, and they certainly provide in very crucial sea routes for the possible uh, maritime Silk Road that China has been proposing, which is seeking partnership from all over the world. And Mr. Choi, how will Spain eventually be a part of the destiny in terms of destinations rather in terms of Belt and Road Initiative. Yes, as we know, I think firstly uh, Spain had a very, very good and uh, advantageous I mean, uh, geographic uh, uh, points. As we know, uh, now uh, Spain was regarded as a joint uh, points between the uh, Belt and the Road uh, in the frame of uh, BRI. Mm -hmm. So we can find that now uh, in some uh, ports and also uh, infrastructure China and Spain, we can do something a lot. Besides this, uh, uh, you know, cooperation imports uh, in Spain. Now we do have also this, um, uh, you know, uh, freight uh, uh, train between uh, EU and uh, Madrid. I think mm. all of them uh, will be in the frame of uh, BRI. Regarding to the MOU of BRI, I don't think it's a single, I mean, a standard to uh, judge that uh, we we do have some cooperation in BRI or not. Mm. I I'm, I'm a, uh, I prefer to some more pragmatic cooperation in the spirit of a BRI, also in the regulation or the rule of BRI. Mm. Mr. Soto, your thoughts here? Oh, uh, my opinion on this, uh, I, I completely agree. Uh, beyond a memorandum of understanding concerning the Belt and Road Initiative, what matters here right now for us we are within the European Union and we at the same time are quite pragmatic and we believe that the practice is the sole criterion of truth as well and so we're actively moving forward in the Belt and Road Initiative considering that a train reaches us in, in Madrid starting in EU and that our ports along the Mediterranean coast are, uh, coast are really uh, actively working in order to get a closer cooperation uh, with China, so we are moving fast. Uh, uh, either 
uh, in the landmass and uh, or and uh, uh, via maritime uh, connections. Right, Mr. Soto. If you talk about the cooperation between China and Spain, you see some very interesting combination of phenomena. On the one hand, China has been aspiring to develop a relationship with. Uh, both uh, uh, Central and the Southern European countries that has been uh, developing over the past few years, which of course has caused some debates within the European Union about what China's agenda is and why uh, China will be so much interested in developing closer ties with these countries. Uh, Spain, of course, included in that. On the other hand, though, you also see, even among these uh, southern European countries, let's just say Spain and Portugal, there is competition as to who gets more attention from China, more investment, more opportunities being created for cooperation. So how is Spain going to uh, balance these different sides of the same issue and seek the right proportion and the way to work with China? Mr. Soto. Well, uh, we are a single country on one side, and at the same time we are part of the European Union, and we have to consider that. We know that China has, uh, at the same time, uh, privileged time, uh, ties with uh, Eastern Europe right now, 16 plus 1, that formula, and we believe that uh, uh, we can cooperate as uh, members of the EU as a, war, as a whole. We are one country, but at the same time, we work with another supranational umbrella, which is uh, the European Union. And for us, there is no contradiction. We just move uh, forward acting the way we've been doing right now, but beyond uh, with agreements and sometimes without big agreements, like the Belt and Road Initiative. We are quite active, and we are here able um, to offer China our cooperation um, uh, for synergies with Northern Africa, and with synergies in Latin America. We have very close contacts with these countries, China as well, direct countries with Northern Africa and with Latin American countries, but we feel that we can uh, bring a, a plus. We have very mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, strong interests in Latin American telecommunications, infrastructure, banking, and we can provide uh, know-how and, uh, and go hand in hand with, with Chinese firms. Infrastructure, energy, and so we also are not infrastructure, telecommunications, energy, and some of the other areas is exactly the area China and Spain are working together in a third party country or area, for example, African and Latin America. But, Mr. Tui, before I ask you a question regarding that, would you like to also respond to the earlier question about the right balance Spain is trying to keep, as you observe from China's perspective, in terms of its relations with the EU vis a vis China and also in terms of its competition uh, with uh, some of the other European countries for Chinese investment and uh, cooperation products? I think, yes, uh, very briefly, the answer is, uh, I think in, in, in Chinese understanding and uh, um, perspective, that I think it's a very, very, uh, I mean, uh, logic for uh, China to keep uh, uh, maybe uh, all of them constructive uh, cooperation with the European Union on one hand, and also with the member states of the European Union on the other side. Because we know so far, uh, European Union not yet a nation state. European Union uh, still it gave uh, some space for uh, member states. So China could not wait for some uh, time for European Union to take uh, every competence from its member states. Mm. So China needed to try to, of course, keep a balance is, we try to take some more pragmatic cooperation with member states, and then we try to promote it on the level of the European Union to find uh, some more you know, common grounds and also common principles. I so I don't think there will be some uh, a uh, big problem, maybe just like some uh, European people, European uh, media uh, mentioned. Mm. Uh, Mr. Soto, as uh, the Brexit is a continuing process, uh, many say uh, the EU, EU, the decision-making process, will also be evolving, and therefore the voices coming from countries like Spain, will that be more relevant? Uh, will there be more influence of Spain when it comes to EU's approach toward a big partner, which is China? Uh, your thought, briefly. The, uh, we, uh, yes, uh, as we see right now, uh, the European Union is facing some uncertainties 
uh, the Brexit and some situations in some other countries in the East, uh, etc. Uh, Spain is uh, uh, working closer with France and, and, and Germany, so it's getting more leverage within the European Union. Um, so we've been for many years, and still, and from today on, even more, a, uh, one of the best, if not the best, uh, uh, friend of, of China in Europe. So we, 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 we can do something about it, and China knows that. We've been uh, um, helping each other in different moments along our m more than 40, uh, 45 years of a uh, uh, close uh, relationship. So when we've been uh, uh, helping each other and uh, uh, Spain uh, uh, stays a, is a very close friend uh, 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 and, and, and partner of, of China. And when we see an opportunity for China in Europe, we voice it in, in Brussels, in Berlin, or in Paris. And uh, so we, 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 we can have a, a continuing of this uh, uh, a very uh, uh, unique uh, contact in the future. Mm -hmm. Before we go, every one of you, 10 or 15 seconds, to you, what is a successful visit about this one? Uh, Mr. Soto, you want to go first? Uh, well, to stress one point, um, uh, among many, uh, is uh, the trust. The trust, uh, also um, the, 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 the suggestion of President Xi, and I think our President Pedro Sanchez agree on that, right. the government of Spain, that we could collaborate in global issues, in global issues as well, United Nations, the World Trade Organization, okay. and the G20, soon in Buenos Aires. All right. Uh, Mr. Tsui. Yeah, very uh, simple. That uh, on the basis of uh, uh, mutual trust, we need to get some more programmatic cooperation. And once we have some more cooperation, we do have some more trust with each other. Tsui hmm. Hongjian, Augusto Soto, thank you so much, gentlemen, for sharing your insights about relations between China and Spain.